wise, I recommend the rear seats on the sides. If you sit in the middle of the rear, you'll have the projector box right in front of you. And uh, it doesn't really cut out much of the dome, but I don't recommend it if you have a choice. Okay, so come on in, find a seat, and get started. And everybody signed up on the sheet? If not, I can just do a head count. Okay. Welcome to the SUNY Oswego All Digital Planetarium. And we're here, we're beginning our third year of operations. I'm your host, I'm Dr. Scott Roby. I've had my, I got my education at MIT and University of Texas in Austin. And I'm one of the senior astronomers in the physics department and I'm the planetarium director. We've been breaking records our first two years. Uh, this is the old planetarium projector. It's an AP3 Spitz projector. It served the community and the classes for uh, over 50 years and it's retired now. Uh, it's old school, it can show you the sky from anywhere on planet Earth. The new SciDome 1600 system with robust hardware and robust software running in the back is an all digital system and that makes a big difference. In the past, we used to have plywood cutouts. This was our permanent horizon for Oswego. There's the steam power plant. Okay. Now we can take uh, digital phones and shoot a panorama and digitize that and put that up on the dome. So we can choose any horizon we want. Uh, we're using the roof of the building. Um, our show tonight is called The Year of the Dwarf Planets. And Pluto may have gotten demoted, but it's getting a lot of press this year because Pluto in the comet dealt beyond Neptune and Ceres the king of the asteroid belt, they both got robot spacecraft visiting them from Earth this year. So Ceres in March and uh, uh, Pluto got a visit in July. So we're going to give some updates on those missions. And uh, so sit back and relax. I'll be closing the doors and we'll get started. By the way, students tell me these are the best seats in the building. Thank you. So that is that sufficient? Yep.